Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And today we will understand how to group by data in NIME. So for this we will go in the canvas of NIME. I will activate input output. I will activate the Excel reader as my data set is in Excel format. When I will double click on it, it will allow me the option to browse my data set. So, I'll locate my file which is in Excel format. I'll connect customer churn data. Press apply, click OK. Now, I'll right click on it, execute. Let's see the data. So, we are having the details of our customers, gender, age, payment method. Do they churn, are they loyal customer or they churn? and how much the last transaction have been done by them. Now, we want to do the grouping by it. Does it what does it mean? That what is, our, what is the average customer of male and female? Or it can be, what is the average last transaction done by male and female? We can do that way also. It can be that the, what is the average of last transaction done by various methods of payment? And we can also do uh, this thing that is what is the average transaction done by those customers who are loyal and those who churn now how we can do this so for this we will activate the load group by double click on it right click configure now the first thing which you want to do is you want to do the grouping according to the gender transfer gender now go in the manual aggregation what you want to uh, uh, which variable mean you want so make sure it is a continuous variable so we transfer age so we want the mean of the age according to the gender right again transfer age and we can change the thing as standard deviation now transfer the last transaction again transfer last transaction and the standard deviation of it Press OK. Right click on it. Execute. Now, as soon as the node turns green, we are in the position to extract the information from this node. Right click and see the group table. We can see here the male and female. Our average age of female customer is 45.49 and of male is 45.71. The standard deviation is given of the age. The mean last transaction done by female is 123 and that done by male is 101 and its standard deviation is done. Now, we want to know that is there any difference in the last transaction according to those customers who are loyal and those who churn. So how we can do it? Again, I will click right click on it, configure and in groups, instead of gender, I will insert churn click OK and right click on it execute and we will again see the group table. Now these are some missing observations which are there otherwise those customers who churn their mean age is 50 and the loyal customers age is 43 quite surprising. Moreover the last transactions done by the loyal customer its mean is 100. Well, those who are going to churn, those who are going to leave, they will definitely do the large transaction and its mean is 129. So this is a way you can do group by in NIME. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on NIME. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the like button.